Gana action, ni bushaka kwegende me Gana action, ushaka kobo mosere mo Gana action, itera mbere mama Gana action, ni rigu sige nyamu na Gana action Welcome in our class. Today, my name is Claude. I'm your class teacher today. We are going to learn about models. Why do we learn models? We can use them for deduction. They are verbs used for deduction, guessing if something is true using the available information. The model verb we choose shows how certain we are about the possibility. How do we form model verbs? Must have it is a must have plus the past participle of the verb. Must have is used to express the feeling sure about what happened. It is used to express the feeling sure about what happened. It is a must have plus a past participle verb. Who can form it for us? Thank you so much. You must have put on your seatbelt before driving. You must have put on your seat belt your seat belt your seat belt before, before driving before driving i'm supposed to be a traffic police yes you must have put on your seat belt before driving as i told you it is used to to express the feeling of something that you are sure that has happened Yes. yes, you are a, a traffic police, then you stop a car. Yeah. And then you ask the driver, why do you drive with no seat belt? You must have put on your seat belt before driving. And there you can find, find him or her. Very correct. Is it fair when I say you must use condom before sex? <laughs> No. No, 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 no. It is not fair. Why? Because it is a must have plus a past participle. Your okay, correct me. You may must. I, may I correct him, sir? Yes, yes, please. You must have put condom. You have must. Uh, you you, have, must, you must, have must have used. Used condom. Condom. Before sex. Before sex. Ah. Of course, you see, we have must have. Plus the past participle of the verb. Clap for Lorenzo, Mr. Lorenzo. Very nice one. So then, the models are not limited to must have plus the past participle. But also, we might have another form of might have, might have, or may have, plus the past participle of the verb. Have this form of might have or may have plus the past participle of the verb if we want to express the feeling or thinking that it's possible that something happened not being sure. It means you are not sure of it but you assume that something may have happened. For example, I might, I think, I might have left the 
air conditioning on. I think I might have left the air conditioning on. It is used to express or to show that you think, was thinking that it is possible that something had happened. Not being sure. I think I might have left the air conditioning on so that the classroom wouldn't be freezing like this way. Can I have another example here? Uh, yesterday, yesterday, I insulted my friend. I insulted my friend. Yes. Kama. My friend. Kama. That mistake. That mistake. Might have landed me in jail. That mistake might have landed me in jail. Landed me. in jail. You inserted the friend. And then that mistake might have landed me in jail. You didn't go to jail. Yeah. That is what if you express. We, yeah, if, if, we, if, if we went, he went to, accuse, yeah, to, to accuse you, to to accuse accuse you, you, might, have you might have landed, landed you in jail. I was lucky. You, you, you were lucky enough. Thank you so much. This is another example here. So then we proceed with the models. We are not yet at the end of our lesson today. We have another form here. The bicycle tried to, to explain slowly because the Lorenzo is so intelligent. So <laughs> me and the, my friend will be. Yes. You are not catching it well. There is no problem. I'm coming slowly. And you are allowed to ask any question and any time. That's why I'm your English teacher. I have a question because she's not like she's not understanding what you are talking about. She didn't give you any example. Any example. She's learning slowly. Uh, let her learn it well. She will come back to the point. So another mother verb can use can't have. Can't have. Can't have. Or couldn't have. Plus the past participle of the verb. This is used. This is this uh, can't have or couldn't have plus the past participle is used when you think it's not possible that something happened when you want to to express what you think that the thing or something happened or couldn't have plus the past participle this mode of verb is used to explain or to express what you think that something hadn't happened or couldn't happen let me give you an example, then others are from you, I know. Example. She can't have driven there.
her car keys are still here. You understand now? She can't have driven there. Her car keys are still here. You, you, you don't think how this happened. How did, he, how did she drive in her car whilst, while her, her car keys are still here? So it is used to explain or think that something hasn't happened. So can I have an, an, an example from there? She you're you're, you're making the deep... Yeah? They used to... To interact yeah, and to chat. So chat on. They are disturbing me. Uh, that's why there's no problem. This is an advanced class yeah. for English learners. Uh, okay. There's no problem. It's not elementary. And elementary, not for, for school children. So, but they are disturbing me. So <laughs> oh, okay, okay. If they want to... To, to, to be lovers, so they can go out. This is, this why, why are you jealous? Okay. Why are you jealous? I'm not jealous. That is not fair. We are in the class. Why are you right? Sorry, not happening again. Okay, okay. Very nice, very nice. Okay. Awesome. Let's go. Let's go with that example. Do you have an example? Um, yeah. They can't have left the party yet. They have? They, they can't. Ah, they can't. Yes. Sure, sure, sure. They can't. They can't. They can't have left. Can't have left the party yet. The party yet. I can still. I can still hear the music. Can still hear the music. Wow! You may clap for him. Oh. Nice one. You don't think that it happened, that they left it? They left the party. Yeah. Why? You can still hear the music there, out of there. The party is still the on. Pa the party is still on. But you ask yourself, why Lorenzo have left? So, you don't think they can't have left. Lorenzo and Ruvianga, they escaped the party. Yes. So then, they can't have left the party yet. I can still hear the music. I think, I think that had happened. Yes, yeah. Then this is about the models, models, models. Can I give another example? Yeah. You couldn't have gone to Europe. Gone to Europe. To Europe. Come up. Your passport is your, expired. Your passport is expired. Up for Lorenzo. This is another nice example, yeah. A nice example out of here. So why this example is very relevant? Why is this example relevant? Because we have couldn't have, couldn't have, then this is gone, the past participle of the verb to go. Yeah. You couldn't have gone to Europe. You don't think how he managed to get to Europe while his passport has expired. So it means this is the real and this is a very relevant example given by Lorenzo. Yeah. So, class, let's end up here. We welcome everyone to the English speaking world in Action College. Thank you, class. We are done with the lesson today. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Nibushaka kwege ndeme ya na action Ushaka kobo mosere mo Gana action Itera mbere mama